good to see you again. A Viking longship, 30 meters long and powered by 60 men. We could sail with the force of the wind or with the force of muscle. We've been blasted into the past to the Viking Age. And if we're in the Viking Age, it can only be for one good reason. We're here to get our hands on a magical tunic which gave you the power of flight. If it's your first adventure, children, I'm Jason and you are Rosa. When the timer starts, the adventure starts. And remember, if you see any runes of awesome for courage, kindness, curiosity or creativity, pick them up because they contain magical powers. <laughs> right, let's get busy. All these Vikings are hard at work and we're just chatting. Come on, sit down and grab an oar. Row, good job. Now, the Viking Age was from 793 to 1066. And when we say Vikings, we're not talking about a country. The Vikings were Scandinavian pirates with one thing in common. They traveled across the sea, raiding, trading, and settling. Wow, good job. In fact, the word Viking simply means pirate raid. So, much in the same way that we like to go hiking, perhaps a Scandinavian would decide to just go Viking. <laughs> we don't know. Now the wind's picking up, so let's help hoist the sails. Pull down on those ropes. Good job. Wow. And this one. <laughs> We'll be up to full speed in no time. A Viking longship could travel at about 20 miles an hour. And they'd use these ships to travel to Greenland and to Iceland and as far as America, 500 years before Columbus got there. They travel around the coast of Europe, into Russia, to North Africa, and even the Middle East. They certainly liked to explore. Okay, now that the wind is pushing the boat through the sea, oh, let's help by scrubbing the deck. Here, grab that bucket. Good job. Okay, let's make this nice and clean. Give it a scrub. Good job. Okay, and over there. Wow, good job. Now, the Vikings, they couldn't read or write. And that means that they didn't leave us any books. All that's written about Vikings was either written by people that they invaded or by people that followed them in time. And sometimes what they wrote <laughs> might not have been quite true. For example, you know the Viking helmets with the big horns, yeah? That you see in all of the cartoons? Well, they weren't real. Real Vikings, they just didn't wear them. What they did do was stay very clean. Clean ships and clean bodies. They'd shower at least once a week. <laughs> and just look how clean things are now. You could dance around, whoa! Whoa. He's fallen off the ship! <laughs> Quick! Let's get after it! We have to swim! Wow. Good job! Keep swimming! Kick with those legs really hard! Well done! Wow! Come on! They're almost at the beach anyway! Keep going! Whoa. We'll climb up and we'll help them to unload their cargo! Good job! Okay, almost there! Grab the side of the boat! Yeah. Whoa. Climb up. Whoa. 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 Look, it looks like our lucky day. These Vikings look like they're here for trading rather than raiding. Let's help them get the goods off the boat. We're going to pick them up and drop them off the side to the Vikings that are waiting. Okay, oh, they're quite heavy. Whoa. Come on. Good job. Whoa. Pick him up. Okay, chuck it off. Wow. Good job. Whoa. 
Thank you. Oh, oh, you're welcome. The Vikings would take things from Scandinavia, like wool and leather, and they'd travel around the world, swapping them for spices and jewellery and food and weapons. Good job. Wah. Yeah. Okay, let's jump down to the beach. Whoosh! Oh. You see, of course we're wet already because <laughs> we took a little splash. But this Viking ship is pretty much landed on the beach. And that's because the hull is very shallow in the water. It's designed that way so it avoids rocks and that they can get really close to the land. Anyway, look! It looks like lots of the Vikings are already here. They've started a party. Let's go and see what they're up to. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Thunder and rain. But don't be frightened. The Vikings won't be. You see, the Vikings were pagans and they believed in all kinds of gods that had all kinds of power. Now, the god of thunder was Thor and they believed that every time there was a clap of thunder, it was Thor battling and defeating monsters in the heavens in order to keep us safe. And that was long before the Avengers showed up. Look, they're having a competition. Oh, a traditional Viking game of throw the rock. Shall we join in? Oh, okay, whoever throws a rock the furthest gets a prize. Here, let's grab these. We're gonna pick them up and throw them as far as we can. Ready, go. Yeah, good job. As far as you can. If we win, whoa. We're gonna win something cool. Keep going. Good job. Whoa. Whoa, on the other side. Pick up those rocks. Yeah, good job. Just a few more to go. Oh, we're in second place. Come on. Come on. Last one, as strong as we can. Yeah. We did it. Yes. We threw the furthest rock, and that means that we get a prize. <gasps> it is the tunic. Take it. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, a tunic that lets you fly. Where will you, whoa. An arrow. That doesn't look good. Oh no, it's Ivor the Boneless. Run. He's here on a raiding mission. Whoa. And we don't want to get between him and the locals. Dodge. Whoa. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, jump, whoa, and again, wow, as fast as you can, get to the woods. Whoa. Ivor the Boneless was fearless. Whoa. whoa, he loved to battle. Whoa, dodge, wow. But there was also something whoa. very interesting about him. Quick, behind that bush, whoa. You see, Ivor the Boneless was called Ivor the Boneless because he had very weak bones. But that never stopped him from going into battle and doing all the things he dreamt of. And that is something that we can all learn from. That was very awesome. And you can make sure that the obstacles in your life don't stop you. It wasn't so awesome that he was going around and stealing things and burning things and kind of being horrible. Perhaps something that made Ivor the Boneless that little bit extra brave was that Vikings believed in destiny. That if you were supposed to die in battle, then that's just how you would die. And it was supposed to be. They also believed in the afterlife and they would even bury their people with all of the things they might need. Farmers would be buried with their tools. Warriors would be buried with their axes and shields. And kings, like Ivor, would be buried with entire longships and all of their treasures. That's oh, pretty cool. Here, take the tunic, try it on, and let me know where you go flying. Until our next adventure, heroes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Shut! Stay awesome! Shut!